What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty Cranky. Come on. see them bugging the fuck out. Ain't too little, man. You know what? Hey, hey, listen, ladies. Before I start today's video, uh, yo, hey, Doctor Trade, man, you can stop hitting me on Skype. You can keep that fifty dollar. Uh, those of you who don't know, me and Doctor Trade made a bet that I uh, made a fifty dollar bet. I'm sorry that the Wii U wouldn't sell ten million units in a year, and um, you know, made a fifty dollar bet, cash bet. And if you don't know, Dr. Trey really is trying to pay me in fifty dollars in eShop money. He's just that much of a uh, of a Wii U weirdo that he's gonna make he's you know what I mean he's gonna try to inflate the sales. He wants me to buy Mario Kart. I'm a 35 year old man. I don't want to run a race around in, in Mario and go karts and shoot out turtle shells. No thank you. So Dr. Trey, keep your eShop money. You can just say that to buy a sofa. That's that's man, that's that fifty dollars ain't gonna make me or break me, bro. That's a that's a raindrop to a river, a holler to a whisper, a sin to a Christian. Keep it, man. It ain't about nothing, dog. But anyway, on to today's video. And um, I read speaking of the ten, I read an interesting article today, and I want to know you guys. I'm not trolling. This is this is this is a serious video from Zaire, and this video, this article really makes sense. It says the widely we use failure won't change Nintendo, and it says I'm not gonna read this whole thing, but it says the Wii U uh, poor sales performance is hardly news. Thing. Anymore, but last month the rival of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 brought Nintendo's predicament into a sharp relief. Sony and Microsoft touted their new machines as the best and fastest selling consoles in November. Uh, respectively, where, where areas Nintendo simply chose to tell the world that the Wii U sales were up 340% over the previous month. Given that, uh, October figures were said to have been around a dismal 50,000 units. Wow, damn. That's about 50,000. Um, for the month of October, that's about 12,500 units a week. That's horrible in North America. That's bad. Uh, and that November includes Black Friday, um, which is the, you know, busiest shopping month or day in North America. Wow. But anyway, um, it says, even with the release of the Wii U's biggest and best game to date, Super Mario 3D World, the statistics is less than reassuring. Uh, but anyway... It says that no one's saying this. It says the company is far from being at risk. And it goes to talking about the sales of the 3DS and all that stuff like that. Yada yada yada. Um, but um, but basically what it's saying is that you know even though the Wii U's failing, they don't expect for Nintendo to change. So here's and I agree with them. Even if Nintendo puts out another console, the Wii U Part Two, unless they change their leadership there at Nintendo. Because I watch and Reggie, they don't get it. You know what I mean? They're like, they're like, I understand how, and whether you hate Nintendo or not, Nintendo's the grandfather of gaming. You know what I mean? I don't understand how they are the, worth are, are you know, are the grandfather of gaming, and they're should be leading the industry. You know what I mean? And, but they're so, like, they're this. How should I say it? They're red. They're old school. They're left behind. They just they, they don't understand. You know what I mean? They don't know what the 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 gamer that's going through mature. I mean, I'm sorry, puberty or older likes or wants. No, no, no. Put it in the tree. They don't get it. Prime example. I got my son a Wii, right? Got him a Wii, whatever year that was, right? And you know, Wii was the thing to do. Don't now as he's as he's getting as he's getting older. Put it on carpet. I'm gonna take it. As he's getting older, he wants to play online. He wants to do Battlefield. He wants to do Call of Duty. He wants to do all that type. Of, he wants to talk to his friends, and he can't do that on the Wii. So you know what I mean. So now he's getting older. So guess what? That's a, a customer that Nintendo's lost because Nintendo's consoles, even with the Wii U, their online is dismal compared to what you can do on the PlayStation Four and the Xbox One. Shit, the Wii U's online is. It's not even can't even do compared to the original Xbox. That's just being real. So guess what? That's the customer that Nintendo lost, so they would never get back again. Like me, prime is like I always say, I'm growing up with Nintendo, but Nintendo didn't grow up with me. Like you know what I mean? So even me, must like me, like I said, take a joker like me, right? I don't care for platformers. You know what I mean? I don't care for Nintendo platformers. I don't. You know what I mean? What I you know what I mean? Will I play a Mario game? Who fuck won't play a Mario game? But will I play a Mario game? No. You know, I, mean, I don't care about Mario Kart. I don't care about Smash Brothers. Maybe, but, you know, a Zelda, if that was done right. But like, I don't care for their first party games. The reason why I bought a Wii U because, A, I thought it was going to be 
it, you know, I mean, something stronger or graphically, you know, better than what I had right now as far as they multiplex. They said, you know, you know, they was just a place to play all your favorite games and, you know, what Dr. Trey said. But, you know, you know, Reggie said the battlefields and all this. But, I mean, I'm just being, it was marginally more powerful than the PS3 and the Xbox 360. I'm just being real. And I'm going to reckon and say the Wii U is probably the worst console that I ever owned in my life. You know what I mean? Just being real. You know? It's just, it just, oh man, like when you got the PS4 or you got your Xbox One, you know how excited he was to get home from school, how excited he was to get home from work and play your console? The Wii U never did that to me. Because I was like, God, you know, because maybe if I didn't have no other console, maybe I went from the Wii to the Wii U and I'm like, oh shit. But going from the 360 or the PS3 to the Wii U, it was, it's horrible. It's a mental breakdown back there. But anyway, it, it was it's, it's horrible. You know what I mean? It it was like it was fails in the comparison as far as the, the as far as the features. You know what I mean? It couldn't keep up with seven and eight year hardware. You know what I mean? I'm just being real. The you know the uh, they just took Nintendo. You no, know, I think I well, I mean I don't know if it's the Japanese culture or what because Sony's not like that. But Nintendo tries to be everyone's parent. I mean even in Europe. You can down, download a, a mature rated game or whatever can, until 11 o'clock at night. And it's not like that on the PlayStation or, or, or on the Xbox, you know what I mean? If I'm playing you in a game of Madden, even though there's no game advice, and I want to see you a message that I beat you, damn, I bust your ass, we're friends. I couldn't even send that message to you. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just being real. Like, you know, you know, Nintendo always want, they want to protect the kids, which is cool. They can protect the kids, but... That's when you have, you know, your features, you know, a setting on your console, you know, you be a child or if you're an adult underground, I know the Xbox is called uh, underground gamer or, you know, whatever it is, but, you know, Nintendo is, their consoles are geared to children than everyone else's second, you know what I mean? And, like, I don't understand, I'm just being real, the kids are not buying these games, they're adults that buy these games, more or less. Think about it, kids get games for their birthday, you know, for their birthdays, you know, once in the blue and then for Christmas. You know, adults game, adult game, we buy games all year long. So like I said, like the Wii U, like I man, I don't know, man. It's like I like I said before, I'm done with the Wii U. I'm done with Nintendo. I don't think they came up with a console that's more powerful than you know if the Wii U part two was more powerful than the PS4 and the Xbox One put together, I still wouldn't buy it because Nintendo just does not get it. You know what I mean? They still be lagging behind the features. You see what I'm doing back then? I'm playing music. This is I'm playing music on my console, my Xbox One. I can do more, you know, things I can, you know, they, Nintendo just doesn't get it, man. They, you know, it doesn't play movies. Like, you know, the your console is, your, you know, that's the center of your entertainment. Everything revolves around your console, believe it or not. You hook your surround sound into it. You got your cable and anything. Like, you know, that's the centerpiece of your entertainment. And for us, your living room or your bedroom, it is what it is. And the Wii U does not get it. Nintendo does not get it. And so they get rid of Iwata, Reggie, and they, they, you know, and unless these board of directors, they switch shit up down there, they they always going to be behind the ball, man. Unless they come up with a another casual system that hits pay dirt and it sells like, you know, they find another gimmick that it takes off to the public, then fine. But as far as the, the gamers and the hardcore gamers, you know, Nintendo, they lost, the, the Nintendo, would never, they would never get that. They would never get back to Sony fans or the my Xbox fans. They won't. I'm sorry. I don't care about how many Zeldas or Donkey Kong, like, it just, like, that doesn't appeal to everyone else. It doesn't, man. You know what I mean? You know, like, look, GameCube. I'm going to be real. The GameCube was, it was a high system. Internal Darkness was dope. You know, it's probably one of the best games I played the sixth generation. That was an ill-ass game. You know what I mean? Like, where's the games like that from Nintendo? You know what I mean? But anyway, I'm going to wrap this video. Let me just you guys think about Nintendo, man. And like I said, I ain't going to make too many Nintendo videos. Like I said, it's like beating a, 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 a dead dog with a stick, man. You know what I mean? Like Nintendo, they don't get it. They won't get it until they change their leadership down there in Japan or whatever. You know what they need to do? J Nintendo Japan needs to run Nintendo Japan. And Nintendo of America needs to run Nintendo of America. And Nintendo of Europe needs to run Nintendo of Europe. But the problem is Nintendo Japan makes decisions for for North America and Europe, I'm just being real. You know what I mean? What's cool, what's cool in Japan may not be cool in the states. You saw Sony switch their game up. N N Sony's headquarters, more or less, is, is, is America because no one in America is the biggest consumer of anything. I'm just being real. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. And as I always say, twist your fingers up, cranky come. Like who the fuck is cranky come?
That's that old character that don't get caught game, man. Fuck it, it is what it is, man. I'm out of here. Uh, I say Trey. Damn, damn, this nigga trying to play me in eShop money. Uh, uh, that joke is so much of a tool. He paid. He probably tried to play me. That's why I ain't got no furniture. Cause you know the store wouldn't take that eShop money, man. Joke is terrible. <laughs>